Hello there. Now I've mentioned this before, but once in a while I will go online and just scrounge around for interesting coffee things that we can talk about. And I would say scrounge, I don't think what I do can accurately be described as shopping. I, I picture it more like a, a small rat rummaging around on eBay looking for strange, interesting coffee devices. And I'm very glad to tell you that this rat right here <laughs> did find one for this week. So without further ado, let's get started. Now in the past couple of years, we have tried a variety of kind of all in one coffee solutions. Some of them have been good, some of them not so good. And we'll kind of find out what this one is here. So this is the Mangdeo all in one kind of travel coffee kit. And this is pretty unique in the sense that it has a grinder included as well. Don't often see that. Usually it's just kind of like the pour over setup. Uh, you need to have a grinder, you need to have hot water, and then you're good to go. This one, you really just need to have hot water and coffee, I suppose. Now, I ordered this a couple weeks ago. It just arrived. Uh, I have not even opened it yet. So I thought today we can open it up together. We can take a peek at it. We can try it out. We can figure out if this is a, a good solution or no. I'm very excited. Let's get started. Now, this entire brewing contraption costs just under $20. So pretty affordable. It was marketed as being kind of an all-in-one solution, especially for travel or camping or what have you. Ooh, and we got kind of a fun color. There's a, a lot of parts <laughs> rattling around in here now. Now this right here is the only thing that is in this box. You have your, your packaging material and that's about it. Any user manual that you will need is gonna just be on the side of the box here. Now the rest of the box is pretty much printed in a language that I cannot read unfortunately, but this should have everything we need. Now, before we dive into this, let me uh, let me run through the instructions real fast. This looks pretty straightforward. We're gonna be taking off the top cup. We're gonna be adding on like the grinder uh, crank, essentially. Uh, you add your beans, you grind your beans, you take off what is essentially the grinder apparatus, uh, and then you just brew. So pretty straightforward on the instructions. We should be able to intuit this once we get this open. Now, initial thoughts, this looks pretty nice. <laughs> this bodes very well. This is nice and compact. Uh, so far, I'm a big fan. I also, I'm gonna get some water going because I'm excited to brew with this. So uh, let's just start unscrewing things and hopefully we don't unscrew the wrong thing. Now there's a lot rattling around in here. Okay, so we have a couple different things here. Starting off uh, on either ends of this coffee contraption, uh, we actually have two cups included, which I think is very nice. Usually you will only see one cup included on these all-in-one solutions. So <laughs> you have these, uh, they are very cute. The handles, I imagine once this cup is full might be a little bit difficult to grab, but aesthetics wise so far, I'm, I'm enjoying all of this that's happening. So set these to the side. We have this component right here. This is going to be your um, your actual brewer here. And if you'll see inside, there is a, a metal filter. So permanent filter, no need to carry around paper filters uh, when you are traveling with this. And it has these like little legs. So I imagine once you are ready to brew, indeed, you can just kind of set it like this and then lift it off when you're all done. Nothing too exceptional about this. It is, it is slightly conical. Um, that's about it, it's a metal filter. Okay, so this part right here is gonna be the main grinder unit. So if you look in, this is kind of a top-down view here. Uh, you'll see you have the components for grinding down there. Uh, you have a little part where you can attach your, your actual handle so you can hand grind this. And underneath, you have an adjustment knob. So you can adjust your grind to be finer um, or coarser as you need to per coffee. Additionally, you have this little cap right here. So you place this on top of the grinding unit. Uh, and then when you are grinding, I am assuming it's going to be reducing kind of all that static of stuff flying out um, and just making your grinding experience a little bit cleaner. And uh, this component right here is just the uh, little nut that's gonna secure uh, this handle onto the actual grinder. All in all, pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's just start brewing. Now, before we actually get fully started with brewing, I'm gonna do kind of a little grind test just to like make sure everything is functioning and making sure that we're at an appropriate grind size um, for our coffee. I have a nice uh, Ethiopian coffee from Atomic for today. And this is the point <laughs> where I have to pull uh, my instruction booklet back out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the dripper in its kind of what I'm gonna call standing position inside one of the cup bases. We're then gonna screw the grinder back on one of the cups. Then we're gonna attach our handle. So 
so far, very good. Now, due to this being a very small brew, uh, we're gonna just go for about 15 grams of coffee. Uh, I think we'll end with about 250 milliliters of coffee if we can get to that. Again, the first brews are always a little bit the roughest. Oop, overshot a little bit. Okay, 15 grams. We'll be brewing with that, but for now, uh, let's just toss a little bit of coffee in here. Let's just grind a little bit, see where we're at. Now, ideally, due to that uh, primary pour over component being placed directly under the grinder, uh, we'll be able to just grind directly into it. Hopefully, none is gonna be falling into the actual cup, and that makes the process from moving from the grinding step uh, to the brewing step very quick, very efficient. All right, here goes nothing. I do not hand grind <laughs> my coffee very frequently. <laughs> This is just kind of a, a long, literally laborious process. Okay, all my coffee is through. So, unscrew the grinder. Ooh, well that is, <laughs> so glad we did a test run. This is far, far too coarse. But that being said, uh, we do have grounds in there. That's good. But if we look over at our cup here, uh, we also have some grounds in this one. <laughs> and it appears to be pretty much all fines, which means most likely uh, the fines were pushed through the metal filter. Doesn't bode well for our later brew, but perhaps it'll be negligible and it doesn't matter. Regardless though, uh, this is far too coarse. So uh, let's tighten it up a good bit. And then I say, let's just brew, have a go at this. Okay, as I mentioned before, there is an adjustment knob at the bottom of this. So it's very, very easy. You're able to just kind of press this in. There's a little bit of a spring to it. And then you're able to twist this either to get it tighter or coarser, whichever you need. We're gonna take it take it pretty far in honestly it's gonna make grinding a little bit more laborious but that was pretty aggressively coarse so this is kind of hard to tell there's not really a marker for like how many clicks this is um, you're just gonna have to do this by eyeballing it and kind of on gut instinct anyways reattach 15 grams of beans in here goes nothing have a little break <laughs> here for just a quick second. Now I will say for the most part, and again, we are, we've literally only used this twice, but I am happy that this handle for the grinder is holding up like the crank here. I've had all in one grinders before similar to this, that the cranks have broken very quickly due to being like really cheaply made and constructed. And so far, again, we're very, very lightly into this, but so far it's doing okay. I like the, <laughs> the Jeopardy soundtrack to play in the background. Okay, and that looks like a pretty decent grind size to start with. Now, once more, we do have some fines in our cup, but I'm just gonna rinse these out. Um, let's hope that we don't get any more passing through. This might just be kind of a, a first go and that's gonna be it, but we'll find out after the brew. Okay, make sure we don't have any more coffee grounds flying off here. I'm gonna put this into essentially airplane mode. And then we'll just place it there. I think we're good to go. Now, I have water set on the side. They did have kind of an instructional video that was included on the listing for this product uh, where they just used hot water essentially out of a thermos like you would if you were camping. But I have a kettle here. We're gonna use a kettle, same principle, whether you're using just like a stream from a thermos or a kettle. I've been debating here for the last uh, 30 seconds while I was talking whether I should use a scale or not for this, however, I was camping, I don't think I would have a scale with me. This didn't provide a scale, so we're just gonna go a little bit on, on instinct here. So let's brew, let's kind of freeform this. Go in with a nice little nice little bloom here. Give that a second to rest. My, uh, my pretty standard just go-to recipe when I'm just using like 15 grams of coffee is like 15 grams, 50 second bloom for like 30 seconds, next 100 grams, give that like a minute 45 seconds to a minute to drain through and then top it off with that last 100 grams and let that drain through all the way. So three pours, pretty easy. That's what we're gonna do here. So far, so good. I've also only had one coffee today and we were filming this a little bit earlier in the morning. So I'm excited to drink this when it's done. Also a note while it's draining through, uh, the clock is back and I think the clock is gonna stay. We had some people who were like vehemently anti-clock and then when I turned the clock around, we had all the pro clockers come out. <laughs> so I think we're gonna stay with the clock. That might change, but for now we're gonna keep it. That seems to be the, the consensus here. 
Give this a little swirl, agitate it a little bit. This might have been a little bit fine for this coffee. Looks like it's it's stalling a bit. Again, that could be due to grind size, could be it like clogging up the filter because this is a metal filter. Um, we won't really know until afterwards. Now, one thing I will say is that this uh, little brewing contraption is a little bit finicky. It likes to kind of slip around the cup just because there is a slight curve to the metal legs here. So um, if you are agitating, if you're touching it, just be kind of careful because it moves a bit. Either way, I've added the rest of my water. I'm gonna let this brew all the way through. I'll see you when it's done. It's just kind of the waiting game here. <laughs> this is a, a bit of a longer brew. Okay, I'm just now seeing the, the top of my brew bed, which means this is almost done couple of things that I've seen throughout this brew. So this brew did take a good bit longer than I would ideally want it to. But however, one thing that did bode well is that it was consistently dripping through pretty much the entire time, which uh, suggests to me that there wasn't a lot of like stalling happening. Like the metal filter wasn't getting all clogged up and just stopping the brew. This was most likely kind of a factor of the grind just being a, a bit too fine here, which is fine that it's easily adjustable. I'm kind of curious though. You know, just looking at this, we'll of course have to taste it and kind of like figure out how clean or mucky the cup is. Um, but the filter does seem to have done a pretty decent job, which, you know, with metal filters, it's sometimes a little bit questionable. I'm gonna use my, my secondary cup here. It's kind of a catch. We'll set this to the side and let's taste. Now I just, I love this little handle on this cup because you kind of just have to get your little like pinchers out and kind of go for it with two fingers. Now this is hard plastic. Of course, at this point, the plastic has heated up. It's not untouchable though. So instead of just trusting my finger strength, which I don't, I'm gonna grab the cup. Now, upon appearances, I am not seeing any visible uh, grounds or anything that's made it through. It's definitely, definitely a bit over extracted. The body is nice on it though. This is not, not mucky at all. Seems pretty clean. Besides the fact that I'm, I'm sipping against a, a plastic rim, this is pretty enjoyable. Like surprisingly so, this is, this is very nice. I would uh, give any fault to this coffee uh, simply over to user error, in which case I just need to dial in this coffee a little bit better, but functionally, it's a pretty decent cup of coffee. Now, I'm gonna go dump this out. I'm kind of curious about what the filter looks like. I'm gonna do my best not to clean it too much. I just wanna like see if there's any like really apparent buildup of coffee or, or anything like that. You know, just looking at what uh, has built up very, very slightly on the outside of the filter, looking at what I can see on the inside, I would say this metal filter did a pretty dang decent job, especially for the grind size being what it was. I've experienced far more expensive filters do far worse. It's quite nice. I feel like I haven't been pleasantly surprised in a, in a good while. Now, one thing to note about all of this, even you know, as positive as I am being, is that you're kind of getting what you pay for. I mean, for $20, you're getting two cups, you're getting a pour over contraption, and you're also getting a grinder. So you're kind of limited in how nice all of those things can be. Now, I'm having a little bit of a tricky time telling and perhaps someone online knows, so if you do, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, it's a little bit difficult to tell what material the grinder, like the, the actual core grinder is actually made out of. It doesn't appear or feel to be metal as far as I can tell. Like, it could be powder coated, I suppose that's true, but it really feels like it's more akin to a very, very hard plastic or something of that nature. So with that being said, my guess is this doesn't have a ton of longevity to it. However, for what it is right now, it does work pretty decently. Again, this is not the best of the best. <laughs> this is a $20 set, <laughs> but for $20, this is like a, a pretty solid, like I'm very hesitant to say this, but like a pretty solid deal. One of the things that I think is often a pretty big detriment to these sort of like all-in-one travel solutions is that they're usually not very intuitive. Uh, they're usually kind of poorly built and it's like, well, you're getting convenience and so we can kind of skimp on some of the other stuff. This, for the most part, is, is a pretty smart brewer. All the pieces fit very well together. They compact down to something uh, that is very travel worthy. The fact that you have two cups, I think is a huge perk. The fact that you have a grinder included and that it fits into everything and that you can have like your pour over underneath it to catch everything before you brew. I just, I like how it's all built. Now you, you might of course be better off with kind of like a more uh, travel paper brewer and like a commandante or, or something like that. However, 
I don't know. I, I would use this again tentatively. I don't really know what the point of this all is. I really just wanted to try it out and compare it to a lot of the other stuff I've tried. And frankly, in recent memory, this is one of the, the kind of most pleasant all-in-one experiences I've had in a long time. I will link this down in the description if you'd like to check it out. This video uh, is not sponsored. I was not paid to do any of this. Uh, I bought this with my own money and the link below is not an affiliate. So just disclaimer on all of that. This is just solely so you can check it out if you're interested. Decent cup of coffee, decent execution, affordable price, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Now, if you have any questions about this whole process, I will do my best to answer them down below. But in the meantime, I wanna go sip on my little cup of coffee here and I'm looking forward to trying this out again. I'm Morgan, you can find me here on YouTube once a week plus shorts. Additionally, you can find me on TikTok and Instagram almost every single day. Hope you had some fun. We haven't done gear review in a while, so this was a good time for me. I hope you have a good week. I'll see you next time, everyone. Cheers.